Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back for some more Pokemon Blue. Today, we're going to take on the Rock Tunnel, and most likely, lots of other things. Today is going to be <clears throat> a really long episode, I guess. Longer than usual. Just because I really want to get through a lot of this game. It's not that I'm getting bored, it's just I would like to do... There's some other stuff that I would like to do, so... Uh, and this seems that this game will take the longest if I don't if I don't pick it up and get going. So we're gonna try and get through a lot of stuff today. It might be even like over an hour. So um, I brought with me some chocolate milk in case my throat starts to go because I just got over being sick like it's now fully gone so I can commentate now no more sick stories so yeah uh, slow poke let's switch back to meow actually no because I thought bite was dark type and he's psychic type but there's no dark type in first gen so Actually, I don't even think Slowpoke is Psychic type at this point. I don't know if there's more than... Like, if a Pokemon in first gen can have more than one type. Let's actually check that right now. Weeping Bell. Is... Oh, yeah, it's Grass and Poison. But I remember as a kid... Um seeing Gyarados or Charizard and people told me that in first gen Charizard was fire, flying, and dragon type and I was like what? three types in a row? I don't think so buddy but they convinced me until I was smart enough to know that it was false yeah and Gyarados I thought he was water, flying, and dragon because like Lance had him on his team and he's dragon type so Alright, so I, I guess I was just like a really gullible kid, but whatever, you know? Let's use Payday. That was a critical? Please disable Payday. Okay, scratch, whatever. So Bite's normal type in this generation. Oh god. Okay, he flinched. That's good. It's always good to have. Well, 26. Yep, is actually doing pretty good on this team so far. We picked up $50. Pretty sure this guy here has a Charmander. <clears throat> we need a water type. Like, what do we have? We have a normal type, meow. We have a fire type, grass type, and a ground poison. Oh, let's switch to Charmeleon. So what kind of water type should we get? I don't know when when you can catch Poliwag. Because I really like Poliwag. But we can also get Gyarados. Or... Seal, Seeking, I don't know, guess we'll, we'll figure it out when the time comes. I guess we could use Vaporeon, once we get to, um, what's the place? I forget what the town's called, but once we get to the place with the game corner and stuff, and we can get Eevee. Oh, he doesn't have Charmander, he has Bulbasaur. Um, but once we get the Eevee, I guess we can get a Vaporeon. I actually really like Vaporeon. It's a really, really good Pokemon. One of the best evolutions, in my opinion. So 
Sorry, I had to sneeze there. I didn't want to sneeze in a video, though. But, uh, my favorite evolution is actually Umbreon. And after that, it is Vaporeon. And then Espeon, then Jolteon, and I really like Glaceon. Let's just run. Glaceon is, is pretty cool, I like it. But, um, I wish they had made evolutions in 3rd gen. Because they left that out for some reason. And 5th gen, they didn't do anything else. But, um, I actually designed a ghost type and a dragon type Eevee. And I think, at least the dragon one, I think it my design is pretty cool. I actually have designed a few other Pokemon. I draw them, so... I did a pre-evolution for Murkrow. It's, I like it. It's kinda, it's pretty unique. It's not, like, unique as it's way different than Murkrow, but... Like, it's pretty cool, I don't know. Maybe one day I will show you guys. Come on, get to level 30. I don't know when we've been Val Evolves. I'm hoping it's level 30. Look at his abs, they're just straight lines. Doesn't even make sense. It's just ribcage. I know I'm not using Flash. I'm pretty sure... Did I teach someone Flash? Yeah, I taught this guy Flash. Wow. Can't believe I didn't do that before. Because I went through all the trouble of getting Flash and then catching a Voltorb and then I didn't even use it for half the cave. self-destruct that's not cool it won't kill me but or will it oh it didn't good job Whew, now I just gotta heal up Voltorb I mean weeping bell I don't even have potions Zubat, I was thinking about using a Zubat as like a flying type. They're actually quite good. Well, um, Golbat is good. Crobat's even better, but you can't get him in this generation, so. Skipping all the trainers. I know I should be fighting these guys for experience, but I really don't think I need it. So we'll just skip them. Survive. If we ever need to, we can come back and fight them. I wonder if I have repels. Let's check. I'm gonna escape rope. Nope, no repels. Okay, looks like we gotta fight this guy. It's only been like 10 minutes, and we're already almost out of the cave. Better not explode on me. Okay. Okay. Just kill me. That's cool. Damn. Oh. Paralyzed. 
酒。No. Oh well, we have really good defense. The you know, queen is the more defensive of the two, so. Here last again. Come on, just take it out. Surprised you didn't use self destruct right there. Graveler. Oh boy. Oh, we're paralyzed. Um, this wasn't a good idea. Okay, maybe, maybe we can do this. Defense curl. Um, Ember is a special type attack. Oh god, self-destruct. Are we gonna die? I don't think we are. Yes, good job. Good job, everyone. Except for Weeping Bell, because you died. Pretty sure this guy up here just has slow poke, so we're gonna we're gonna skip it. Okay, you can avoid these battles like this. Pretty sure there's a pokeball up here. Nothing. There might be a hidden item, but I'm not gonna bother. Alright, so if you are still watching this, <clears throat> chances are you're, you're uh, a loyal subscriber of mine, but I don't think, I don't think most people will watch it this far in. Um, but if you are watching, let's talk about some kind of important stuff now, while we have some Meowth on Meowth action. Let's talk about what's gonna happen when blue is done uh... oh god take that guy out, yeah, there we go alright, um... once blue is finished Pokemon Coliseum will still be going on most likely because we're about half we're getting about halfway through the game right now, and Coliseum, it's it's about 15% or 10% finished, not far. So, um, blue will definitely be finished first. So what I want to do after is not a Pokemon game. I would like to stray a little bit away from Pokemon. We'll still have Coliseum going on, so we'll have some Pokemon game at the same time. But there are a couple games that I want to play through. And I'm not going to tell you exactly which. They are Nintendo games. So don't worry. I have a few options that I will let you guys know at a later date. But for now, you're not gonna really know anything, so I guess it wasn't that much of a talk, but Can we go around this guy? Nope. And he just has a cue bone. Let's see if Meowth can take it out. Oh, no he can't. Go to Nidoqueen. 
So yeah, I guess that, that wasn't much of a talk, but uh, just uh, let's know where my head's at about after Pokemon Blue. I know my voice is like not talkative right now or whatever you would say. It's just because I pretty much just got up and it's about 4 p.m. Level 29. Yeah, paralyzed. We're paralyzing everyone. Oh god, that was gonna kill me. It didn't. I'm good. Um. The thing is, I really want a better recording setup before I start another let's play so maybe once I'm done blue I will just do Coliseum until it's finished and then hopefully by then I'll have like an HD PVR that can record my TV or I'll just find a better way of recording because right now it's not the greatest it kinda sucks so um yeah which way? Pretty sure we go up here and fight our rival. Yeah, there he is. What's his name again? Gary. Good Yodo. I think Meowth can handle this. Maybe, maybe not. I think he can. I think we got this. Gust is just a normal type attack. Oh, we totally got this. Yeah, good job, Mia. Growlithe, let's stay in. Oh yeah, Meowth's pretty good. He flinched. We're getting really lucky. Execute. Let's switch into Charmeleon. We need a better fire move. Like right now. Hypnosis. That's not cool. I really need to go buy potions and stuff. Barrage. Barrage. I've never even heard of that move. Ever. What is this? They're just making up new moves now and putting it back in first gen. I don't know how it's possible, but they're doing it. Can I wake up, please? God damn. If this was a speed run, this would cost so much time. Wake up. God. It's gonna hit like five times. Three. Okay, three. Kadabra. I want to use Nidoqueen, Queen, but he's psychic type and I'm poison. But we're gonna go for it anyway. He's only level 20. One body slam should kill this thing. Yeah. Didn't even stand a chance. And War Turtle will go to Weep and Bell. Only level 25, we're owning this game. Fine with. Two hit kill. Not bad. War Turtle does have pretty good defense. 
And water types are bulky in general, so I'll take it. Level 30. Smell you later. This place creeps me out. There are spirits up to mischief. My Growlithe, why did you die? They should not have put this in the game. Did you come to pay respects? Bless you. I came to pray for my Clefairy. It can't stop crying. That's really sad. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that had died. Why would they even put this in a kid's game? Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Really? So there are believers. What about... No, I don't believe. Haha, <laughs> I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder? It's not real. Oh my god. Ghosts appeared in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon that the rockets killed. It's really weird to think about because Ghastly is its own Pokemon, but if it's just the spirit of other Pokemon, then if you catch a Ghastly, you could technically like have a Charizard or something. I don't know. It's cool to think about, but it's kind of creepy. Alright, so we won't come back here till later. But let's let's go. What time are we at? About 22 minutes. Not bad. We made a lot of progress so far, actually. <laughs> I'm really tempted to just finish the game right now, but uh, I don't think I will. It's not fair to the people that won't watch the whole video. But, if you don't watch the whole thing, I guess you miss out. No, not sing again. Wake up. Good. Okay. How... I've been asleep for so long, how was that the first move that damaged me? Not again! Oh my god! Stop! I'm not switching because I want Neil to get this freaking experience. It's not a hard battle. Wake up. Now, kill this thing. There. Another one. <clears throat> this thing better not put me to sleep. Okay, it didn't affect me. Okay. Okay, stop. I'll switch. I'll switch. No. Good thing it's not Nuzlocke. I really want to do as Nuzlocke as one of one of my LPs after. They're pretty fun. Depends um, how it's going, but it can get kind of boring. So. Wow, meow. Can't believe you died right there. So, Charmeleon really needs another Fire-type attack before we go to the next gym, because he'll be our main guy. And Ember just doesn't cut it. Okay, let's skip this guy. 
we can skip all these battles. Or should we? Let's put Charmeleon in the front and fight a few. Let's fight this guy back here. We got time. Super nerd. We're just gonna spam Ember. That's our tactic. No strategy to this. Just spam. But they want to get rid of this Charmeleon sprite. Critical hit. Don't disable Ember. Okay, good. Wow. It was undisabled right away. Undisabled, is that a word? Abled? I don't know. Burned. Don't disable Ember. Okay. Muck is a pretty good Pokemon, but its counterpart is um, coughing, and that's it's a lot better. Coughing and wheezing, they're a lot better than Grimer and Muck, because they're more defensive, and they have good poison type attacks. So if you were to choose one of those, I would choose wheezing. Where are those biker guys? Is there anything over here? Nope. I think this guy here has polywags. Let's fight him. Alright, let's roll the dice. Those costumes scare me. Like really bad. I think Meowth evolves with a Moonstone, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'm probably gonna look that up after. See if I need to get another Moonstone. Poliwhirl. I love Poliwhirl. He's like one of my favorite water type Pokemon. Critical hit. Level up? Nope. That's too bad. He, he wasn't even looking at me. I knew there was a guy over here. I really wanted Charmeleon to fight him. Level up. Yeah. Do we get a fire type attack? No, nothing. I always thought if you're a fire type Pokemon and you hit coughing with like in a fire type attack, that he should like explode. Because he's like gas. He's poisonous gas. He should just explode.
Magnemite. I like Magnemite, kinda, but it's not that good. I just like the look of them. It's not the most creative Pokemon, but he's a cool one. Celadon City, that's what it's called. That's where we're headed right now. It's probably taking up more time than it should, but... Alright, in this city, we are going to catch our next Pokemon. Well, not catch, but kind of steal. Let's go deposit Voltorb really quickly. Because we don't need him anymore. Sorry, Voltorb. Alright, so what you're gonna do is come back here, it's a really shifty place, and you go in one of these buildings, I think it's up here, yeah, right there, you go up the stairs, up more stairs, up more stairs, and you're here, go in this building, and there's a guy. And you're everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. Cool dog. What's this? Universe got Eevee. Do you want to give it a nickname? No. Check out our new Pokemon. It looks like a little cow. There it is. Level 25. So it's not far behind. Um, has good special attack. That is good. Um, pretty good speed. Just has tackle and sand attack. But it has a good special attack, which is... Well, special attack and defense, which is... Really good for a Vaporeon. Let's go by a water stone. <laughs> and a leaf stone, because... Pretty sure... Weeping Bell evolves with a leaf stone. And we gotta buy some potions while well, we're here. First floor, I'm pretty sure it has potions and stuff. Nope, that's TMs. Super Potion. It's by five. And let's get a few revives. Okay. Now let's head upstairs. I know that guy doesn't have it. Pretty sure it's this guy. Yep, okay, so let's get a water stone. And a leaf stone. It's too bad you can't buy moon stones. Wait, what was that? Can't carry any more items. Okay, so let's use our water stone right away. What? Eevee is evolving! And we got Vaporeon. Now let's buy our leaf stone. Let's 
to use that right now too. <gasps> what? Weeping Bell is evolving! And we got a rotten banana! That's what it looks like. But what we really got is a victory bell. Victory bell is pretty strong. It's really good, actually. Not a lot of people use it, I don't think, but... He's pretty strong. So, are we fully healed? No. Uh, yes we are. Let's go face the gym. Sucks you have to come all the way over here to go up the stairs. Why couldn't they make them like right here? Oh my god. Did not mean to do that. I meant to point it out. Ugh, this gym is great. It's full of women. Alright, so we'll be like switching back and forth from Meowth and Charmeleon. She only has two Pokemon, shouldn't be that hard. Meow can handle this. Let's, um... Let's put Bite at the front, and... No, Payday can st No. Payday can stay there. Pretty strong. Meow's yeah, really good. Level 28. Can't wait till it becomes a Persian. Oh god, not rap. Anything but that. Sorry about that. I had some Christmas lights plugged in in my room, and half of them burnt out, I guess. So I just had to unplug them. You're too rough. <gasps> what? Meowth is evolving. Oh my god. We got a Persian. He's so cute. Like, he's... Ah, I love Persian. Damn, I didn't know he evolved at level 28. I, I, I kind of expected it, but at the same time I thought you had to use like a Moonstone. That's awesome. Three evolutions in one video. And what time are we at right now? We're at about 40 minutes. Let's see what Persian looks like from the back. He's pretty cute. He has a really big head, but... I'm guessing his attack is a lot stronger. Yep, it is, and it flinched. Persian, I love you. I'm just gonna say that right now. If I could have one Pokemon right now, in real life, it would be Umbreon or Persian. Or Eevee, I really like Eevee. I'm more of... Uh, more of the type that would take a Pokemon that's more of like a pet than like a strong beast that would go kill everyone. You know? I'm more of that type of guy. That's why I want Persian. It's just so cute too. Good job. My makeup. How about we'll use Persian on all the trainers and Charmeleon on the gym leader? That way we don't have to go heal up. Unless Persian dies.
because this will probably bring him up to level with everyone else, and then we'll have time to train up um, Vaporeon. Level 29! Yay, so he's pretty much with everyone now. Two criticals in a row. Ivysaur. Wow, three critics in a row. And their status inflictions aren't even affect four crits in a row. Holy Persian. You are just proving yourself worthy as hell. Damn, I'm loving you already. So proud. It's probably gonna be my, like, MVP at the end of this game. It's pretty good. Sleep Powder didn't even affect him. Neither did Poison or Paralyzed Heal. Or Stun Spore. I'm so excited I can't even think straight. Stuns for okay, it worked once. Good job. Well, that's okay. I'm proud of you. Okay. You got this. You can kill it. You got this. Yes, good job. Level 30, please? Yes. Now he is fully with everyone. Alright, so I think we're good. Let's go ahead and put Charmeleon in the front. And we're gonna save. Because we've done some good stuff this episode. Alright, let's do this. My name is Erica. And your ass is about to be kicked, Miss Erica. That's what our banana looks like, too. She's level 29, so... <clears throat> At this point, it's kind of evened out. But, if you fought, like, all the trainers on the previous route, you should be a little bit stronger than her. But you can still take her out if you're, like, around the same level, or even a little bit, uh, a little bit less. See, she didn't even ta attack me. That's one down, two more to go. The only thing hurting me is poison. Oh god, not bind. Okay, we're hurt by poison. His attack continues. Oh, critical. Good job. Everyone's getting so many crits today. Vile plume. Pedal dance. Thought that was a fourth gen move. Holy. Didn't do much at all, but still, it's kind of scary. Thrashing a belt. Alright, one more. He's gonna use a potion, isn't he? That's gonna kill me, isn't it? Nope. Potion? No. How come nobody used a potion? Crit. Why couldn't I get that crit before? <laughs> so many questions. Oh, I can see defeat. You are m remarkably strong. I must confer you the rainbow badge. Rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey you. Well, looks like we're gonna train everyone to level 50. <laughs> Just kidding. Nobody does that. Oh, Mega Drain looks like we're gonna teach that right away to 
Victory Bell. Let's get rid of Vine Whip. This is way better. I would like to get rid of Cut soon. Um, but I don't know where. I don't know where to go to do that, so. Our next mission is to go get Fly. Charmeleon fainted. Bye bye, Charmeleon. Is my bike not selected? Let's select that right now. No, oh, how do you select an item? I don't think you can in this game. But you can... do this. Did that switch with the Pokemon? I still want those up here. So we still need a Pokemon to learn fly. I don't have one. Um, did I ever catch a Pidgey? Damn, I don't know how to use this. Okay, withdraw. Yes, Pidgey. He'll be my flying slave for now. No. Let's fight the. Oh, there's no people here. Fire Red and Leaf Green, there was people there. Stop talking to me. Alright. Let's fly back to... Actually, no, we have to actually... Oh, wait. Let's fly to sell it on. And go this way. Oh, we still have to get tea in this game? I thought once you beat the gym, you can go. Alright, let's go get tea. Oh, wait, no, we get soda pop, don't we? I don't know. Let's talk to this old lady first. Here. No, there is no old lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is right here. But she doesn't give you tea. Can you move? No, get out of the way. Move. <laughs> no! Get out of the damn way. Oh my god, finally. Alright, so we gotta go back to the top of this tower. Fifth floor.
get a fresh water. What? What is this? Teleport. We can toss that. Okay, what are these? Mega Punch. Um, I don't know. Thunder Wave. We can get rid of that. This is Bubble Beam. Let's give that to Vaporeon. No, 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 no. Okay, no. I'm trying to give that to Vaporeon. Dig. Um... Can Nido Queen learn that? Nope. Okay, so we should have enough room now. I'm not gonna worry about that girl with the TMs, because I don't know which ones she gives you for which items. And I'm not gonna bother. Maybe I'll look it up and come back and do that after. Yep, I'll just throw it across the room to you. Alright, thanks bro. Hop back on the bike. Wait, where's the Pokemon Center? It's down here. Let's go in there as kind of our save point. And I think that is going to be it for today. We did a lot. We made it through Rock Tunnel. We beat Gary in the, the, the cemetery building. And we made it to Celadon. Evolved three different Pokemon and beat Erica. Pretty successful if you ask me. So why don't you give this video a thumbs up. This 53 minute video. It was, it was a lot of fun. But I'm pretty tired. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not a little boy. I don't get voice cracks. I'm just tired, okay? So, leave me a thumbs up so that puberty will go away. Thank you for watching. See ya.